Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your professor from Johnson County Community College, and the subject today's short screencast is Java versus JavaScript. What's the difference? I found this article that makes this analogy that Java is to JavaScript as ham is to hamster. In other words, ham and hamster have nothing to do with one another other than the first three letters of their name, implying that Java and JavaScript have nothing to do with one another except for the first four letters of their name. I think that analogy is interesting and fun, but I think it's a little too extensive. I think a better analogy would be Java is to JavaScript as ham is to hamburger. Ham and hamburger are both in the meat family. Java and JavaScript are both programming languages, so they do have a lot in common. However, the common misconception is that Java is a subset of JavaScript or vice versa, we know that's not correct. They're two separate programming languages, even though they have some common constructs, such as object-oriented programming principles. Ham and hamburger are both in the meat family, but that's as far as they are similar as well. So let's get to the core of Java and JavaScript. JavaScript was first introduced in Netscape Navigator and was originally called LiveScript. And some say that it was having trouble getting traction and changed their name to leverage the positive buzz that Java was earning as a programming language at that time. So some people say that the whole name JavaScript was a marketing ploy to gain interest and excitement and pull off some of that positive buzz from the Java programming language. Well, okay, that was clever and interesting and caused confusion from there on. But what are the real differences between Java and JavaScript? The key is to understand front-end development versus back-end development for the most part. JavaScript, for the most part, is a front-end development language, meaning that just like HTML and CSS, it is run in the browser. The browser, quote-unquote, compiles it. I say, quote-unquote, because we really don't pre-compile our HTML, CSS, or JavaScript. In fact, it is interpreted, it is understood, and executed line by line by the browser. Whereas Java, as well as other full-blown programming languages, such as C Sharp, C++, or Visual Basic, are truly compiled before they can be run. And that compiler typically lives on the server. So Java would typically be a back-end program that runs on the server, whereas JavaScript is considered a front-end language that is interpreted by the browser. Now this gets confusing very quickly as JavaScript also has an ability to be run on the back end and Java also has an ability to create Java applets that can be run by the browser. But for the most part, you can think of Java as a standalone programming language that is compiled at the back end by the server, whereas JavaScript is a front end language that is interpreted by the browser. That is the big distinction between the two languages. Here at W3 Schools, we have some other very nice, net, introductory information about JavaScript, which I encourage you to go through all of these tutorials. They're just really pretty excellent for learning JavaScript. In the introduction, they discuss that JavaScript and Java are completely different languages, where JavaScript was invented, and that its official name is ECMA-262. The reason why we have to have this official name is because when JavaScript started becoming popular, different vendors such as Microsoft started coming off with knockoff versions of JavaScript that had advantages in their browsers. And the development community put a stop to that, fortunately, and said, no, we need one version of JavaScript so that we can actually develop productively like we have an official version of CSS as well as HTML. There are any number of websites that discuss Java versus JavaScript that could help illuminate this discussion. Both languages have long legs, and sometimes these internet resources can actually be more confusing than they are helpful. But definitely go to the home site for Java and ask the question, and read their official explanation. Java is now owned by Oracle, and JavaScript is now owned by Netscape. The Mozilla Developer Network can discuss JavaScript officially to you. Both of those vendors have excellent web pages to describe their product and how Java and JavaScript differ. Those articles would be your definitive guides as to how Java and JavaScript are separated. Thank you for listening.